Okay, rolling. Five, four. This is lesson five, section one, part two. Part one, I laid out this uh, interior room, and now what I want to do is complete it uh, in rough form with a grayscale marker. And I really like to, uh, to lay out a room pretty quickly and, and then add grayscale, which will help me to kind of figure out the, the values in the drawing. And I fully expect to make a few mistakes in here. What's important is I will identify those problem areas, those mistakes, and then when I do my final rendering, I've got this rough that is really going to guide me along the way. So let's start. I would just value study. I'm going to start with uh, gray 6 on the uh, shadow side of all my drawings. In fact, I'm even going to go a little darker. I'm just going to make that gray, gray 7 just a little bit darker here and put in all my grayscale on this side of the drawing. I'm not paying particular attention to perfect rendering technique. I'm not going to worry about blending markers right now. I'm just going to get in the basic intent of this drawing. Add some grayscale back here to the chair, the back side of the arm, the back chair, this little coffee table. It's all kind of a monochrome looking furniture. And now let's take uh, a middle gray. I'll use gray 4. And I'm erasing some of these lines, but I can always go back in and add them back into my drawing as I get more and more complete. Well, let's put a Right here. Uh, let's throw in just a little bit of color into the into the water here. This is going to be the ocean out here, and this is uh, a little outcropping of, of rock or something. We'll take a couple little different colors here and just sort of blend it in a little bit. Sky, I'll just throw in a couple little streaks to represent sky. We're going to put a couple little birds in the sky. Maybe just one more grayscale line here. Uh, let's show a little bit of value change on this wall. like about these Sharpie pins now is I'm erasing some of these unimportant lines. I carry the drawing a little further forward than my rough underneath. There's wall, a little bit of value change. Uh, let's add right now some dark color. I just want to put in a little bit of shadowing underneath furniture. And I'm going to start with kind of a dark line. This, this little table here is maybe floating slightly off the ground. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow underneath here. I'll make this table float off the ground. There's a little shadow inside of, inside of here. And shadows are generally gradated, so I'm going to take a lighter color marker and now blending that shadow just a little bit from the dark gray, just a little bit lighter forward, gives it a slightly nicer look, just looks a little more believable, those lighter, lighter colors. And by doing these roughs, if I would decide that my shadows are just too dark, then when I do my final, it makes it a lot easier to 
fix the drawing. And then if I am not sure in the beginning, I'll put a little shadow underneath this uh, mantelpiece. Run it right along. There's probably a little bit of a shadow line up here. This line, soften. It's going to be a little darker. And I want to take a uh, little bit of black. You can see I smudged my drawing here a little bit. But since it's a rough, I guess I don't really care. Put in a little bit of color in here. The very back of my drawing, I'm going to make it just a little bit darker in here. And then I can radiate that forward a little bit. I'm going to put in some reflections going down into the wall. I can as Jessica did in a previous lesson, maybe put just a little bit of reflection for these chairs into the ground. A little bit of reflection for this table. for these railings here. Uh, let's add in a color for the carpeting. I want the carpeting to be just a little bit darker than the furniture. Not quite as dark as the shadow. See already, I've decided I'm not going to put in the uh, I'm not going to put in the chairs in the background here. Yeah, I'll put in just a little more reflection into the ground. Even though it's on the front, let's add a little bit of reflection in here. Oh, the Sharpie pencil is coming out a different color. Around here, I'll take a slightly darker color. And yeah, maybe I can... Uh, and what I really like about this is if it doesn't come out exactly the way I want it to, I can fix all this when I do my, my final drawing. Let's take a little bit more color in here. I want to gradate it a little bit on the front. And we'll try and finish this up. Put in just a little bit more, more detail here. Add some lines back in for the, uh, for the sofa. Let's put just a little button tufting on the sofa. Bring this line back in. Tighten this up. And what I really want to do next is add the tile floor lines back into the drawing. So I'll go to the vanishing point. this gets a little sloppy. This isn't a presentation drawing. It really is a little bit more of a design drawing. I'll put a couple little tracks here or a thumbnail prior to doing a final drawing.
at the edge of the carpet with a little thicker line. I've taken about 10 minutes to add this color, so it's not a lot of time that's spent. And you will more than make it up when you do your final drawing if you take a, a little bit of time to get these things done first. It just makes your, your final drawing much, much faster and a lot easier to do. picture here and we will add just a little more color in here a little more detail Some people like to indicate uh, can lights or down lights by putting in just an indication of the light. I don't usually put that in my drawing. And then let's kind of crop it so I know exactly what I'm going to be drawing when it comes down to my final, final drawing. I think I'll stop it right about here. That sofa doesn't look too much like it's outside the cone of vision, but I want to stop. I'm going to crop my drawing about here in the corner, and I'll show just part of that fireplace. And now I could come back and tighten things up and keep playing around with this drawing but that becomes I think just a little bit too much as I said this is really a thumbnail drawing and I hope it helps you when you're going to do your final final drawings uh, you can either use this demonstration and get started right on a final although I would recommend that you try doing one of these thumbnails first and I can guarantee you it will save you a lot of time overall. I think I forgot the little side table here in my, in my haste to do this drawing. is you never know when to stop. You just keep playing and playing and playing and playing. Let's put a little carpet texture in just to indicate that it's a change of material. A little bit back here. And I think we'll call that quick, quick sketch, all finished.